today is going to be a very planty day. AJ is on her way to pick me up and we're going to go to one of her growers. So I thought I'll tag along and I wanted you to tag along as well. So it's going to be a bit of a vlog, just a day in the life of Jan and AJ. Let's go. Well, actually, we're not going. We're waiting for AJ. She's going to come pick me up with her van and she should be here anytime soon. And in the meantime, I am just editing some videos over here for you. So... Hello. Oh, it is looking nice. It does look so good, right? Come on in. Oh, mwah, 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 mwah. I'm filming you already. Bring in more plants. Come on in. Why do you bring mine? Yay! Hello, AJ. Hi. What have we got here? Um. We don't know, right? No idea. <laughs> yes. It's loving life. Look at all the roots. Beautiful. Holy fucking shit. It's just loving life. Yes, it definitely needs a little Daddy. bit of love. Oh, wow. Oh, that's perfect. All right. <laughs> it was my plan. I gave it to AJ because I had no room and now I regret the decision and I asked her to bring back. it back. <laughs> so thanks oh, for tear caking in the meantime. Look at how beautiful Oh, it it's cute. I like it. Well, yeah. thanks for taking care of it for me. Welcome. But now I want it back. <laughs> it is I mine it now. Like... Yeah, yeah it's nice. I mean, I think I think when I gave it to you, it was more looking like this. So it's yeah. changed. Right noise. Oh, what did I mean? I wanted brand two too. You did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gonna love that. They should have got green. Yeah, man. Okay, then. <laughs> All right. Okay, bye. Bye. Yeah. Meow. Meow. All right, next step, we're taking some Yay. of my plants to AJ's because I have too many plants and I want to sell them. So let's go. <laughs> this is hard. Bye, Brad. <laughs> this is the residential bush turkey over here. Hey, turkey. Hello, bush turkey. Hey, bush turkey. That's. It's huge nest. It's not scared at all, is it? No, no, I talk to it all the time. <laughs> all right, let's load them up. Put a little seatbelt on. <laughs> oh, cute. Velcroed. Look at that. Safety first. <gasps> right, <good>. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, quick update. AJ is... We still haven't left. Um, <laughs> But AJ has perfected the vlogging game already. <laughs> My head is so big. It fits like a crown. It fits oh, is It is sliding down just gradually. <laughs> That's okay. Well, commitment. <laughs> Maybe it's don't wear it while driving, but overall, first day vlogging and you're already killing it. <laughs> okay, I give up. Come on, we need to. God, you're so funny. Oh my god, people, look at this. We're like in the country. There's sheep. <laughs> Hello, sheep. Oh my god, you're so funny. Oh, followed There's by cows. some plants. You missed the cows. Cows? There's some random cows in there. Yeah. Oh my god, guys, we're only like 30 minutes out of Sydney. It's like a different world. Wow. Oh, oh look so at that. Funny. Ooh. A tree. Oh, the first nurseries are coming up. I'm going to these ones though. I'm going to go to some. We only go to the good ones. We're going to the good ones. We're only going to take you to the very best. The best of the best. <laughs> we have arrived. Dun, dun, dun. Alrighty. We have arrived. We have arrived. I, I actually oh, I like their garden. I'm not even. Yeah, you go have a look at the garden. I like their gardens. I mean, I know we're here to get some stock, or AJ's here to get some stock, but. Look at that ponytail palm. I'm here palm. to look at that fucking ponytail palm. Oh look God. at the ponytail palm. It's got the biggest booty I've ever seen. Okay. That's a ponytail palm for you. Look how beautiful it is. Beautiful. I really, to, I really want to take the fronds home and just use them as like on the top of the... Could you imagine? Look at the size of Taking a couple this. of those and like putting them on the top of the cover. The little cabana area that I'm going to make. Yes. <laughs> It'd be epic. Alright. Welcome to Australia. <laughs> Welcome to Australia, mate. Oh my god, look at us, so professional. <laughs> yeah, you should get in. Alrighty, AJ, so what are we 
So we're going what to... What are we here for? I saw that they had a really good stock upload, so we're going to go have a look and see what indoor houseplants they have. Wow, indoor um, houseplants, really? Is that your yeah, niche? That is my niche. <laughs> so we've just got to sign in and we've got to get little buzzers for the forklifts, which I actually don't think we need, but I will check. All right, we don't need it because there's no forklifts. They usually give you a buzzer, so when the forklifts come, it goes beep, 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 so you don't get run over. Oh, hectic. <laughs> Safety first. Did you say we don't need it? No, because they're not running today. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, where's my hard hat? I feel like I need a hard hat. <laughs> No, it's just because they're, uh, they're, they're a busy place. Look at this. Where all the I love in. this trolley, honestly. Like, I want one of these in my backyard, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, all right. look at all of this. Oh my God, we have a lot to explore, guys. It's nice <gasps> and warm in here today. It's not that bad, actually. I was expecting no, it to be well, this is No, this is warmer than it usually is. Wow. Okay, guys. Okay. <laughs> okay, it just hit me. The humidity just yeah, hit me. Yeah, it just hit you in the face. Wow, this is crazy. Oh, look crazy. at the living rocks. They're so cute. Oh, yeah. Soon to be at Aldi. <laughs> like, I used to have these from Aldi. Oh, here we go. Here are some good trolleys. Oh, got some clonerviums. Look at the clarys. These beautiful marantas. Wow. These are awesome. Calithias, like look, um, I mean, I actually really like Calithias, <laughs> but um, I just don't know if they're really, they, they don't like the indoors as much, or at least they don't like my indoors. Oh, some Caladiums, oh, so it's super slippery, I almost slipped three times already. <laughs> <laughs> and of course I decided to wear white shoes because, um, yeah, why not? Oh, it's warm in here, Jesus. These look it's great. It's not chilly. Those begonias, look at this, like, just huh? sea of begonias. I know. That looks great. I mean, I'm so, I'm so not a begonia person, but. do they look amazing, though? This could it's convince so pretty. Me. Okay, so. What do we have here? We've got some. Angel wing. These look all right. These Caladium, yeah, they look nice. The Halo, 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 Halo Beauty. Halo Beauty, yeah. Halo Beauty. So cute. Depends how much they These are. These are really cute. The little. Yeah, I do like these ones. AJ, do you know what these ones are called? Um, just Rex, Begonia Rex variety. Um, these are pretty. There's a lot of Rexes that, that have come out now. They look good. All right, let's go to the next section. Okay, I'm coming. Guys, clearly, I don't really have a plan. I'm just gonna show you whatever I see. Got some peace lilies. Some ZZ Ooh, plants over yeah, there. Yeah, I'm get some of those. Okay, a lot of peace lilies. <laughs> yeah. what, are, what are we going to do with all these peace lilies? Well, do see, they do have other suppliers, so. Oh my God, look at this these sea are of peace lilies. I, I'm not the biggest peace lily fan, but look at these all Jessica's. of these flowers. Oh. They're gorgeous. So these are different types of peace yeah, lilies. Yeah, so this is peace lily Jessica. Okay. So pick yeah, this one I could this become nice. friends with. This one's nice. Yeah, I like that. That's really pretty. Oh, and then this one is uh, just a... Is Dom that the domino? Yeah. Look at this one. This one is extra variegated. This one. These are really pretty. I really like these. Mm, these are not bad. Oh, so cheap. I'm good. And what about these ones? Are they a different type? They seem smaller and have like... Um, I actually don't know that one. Look at these inflows, they look so sure. spiky. They definitely seem like a dwarf variety. This is the hottest, here I am like telling you, oh no, it's not that hot. This is like the hottest it's, I've ever felt it in here. Imagine yesterday, it was a, <sighs> yesterday would have been a good 10 degrees hotter. Yesterday would have been a fucking nightmare. Oh, so nice. this is here, all the peace, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Today's actually a good day to be filming in here because there's no one here. 
Yeah, we're really light. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> we we might, we are kind Oops. of light, so uh, we're the only people Nothing here. Changes. So <laughs> late to life. <laughs> It's definitely AJ's yeah. fault. I would never. I'm way too German for that. Oh, you are way too German. I love it though. You keep me, you keep me straight. You keep me on the straight and narrow yarn. All oh, right. and to the question that people ask me all the time, why I wear these big shoes and I'm not in construction, show them the floor <laughs> and we can say, show them why. This is why. Because there's dirt and mud everywhere. Dirt and if I and don't mud. wear something decent on my feet, I'll my, slip my yeah, fat ass on the ground. Yeah, AJ is dressed for function. I you know, am functionality. We not graceful. <laughs> and I hit the deck at many occasions. That's Ooh. all right. Ooh. Oh, all right, let me turn the. Oh, hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. so what have we got? We've got like all sorts of Scalithia, Thenanthi. I don't, I don't know all of their different. So I saw names. these on the list. But look at those. Like there are. They look so good when they're thriving. When they're thriving is the key word though, because they're kind of hard to make thrive at home. Wow, oh, these are super pretty. I'll try and put as many names on screen as I can, but I'm not super familiar with everything. Oh yeah, Medallion Calithia. I actually knew this one, and I think this one is different Bakia Reflector. Something like that. Yeah, they're all thriving. Yes, yeah, different back here reflector. I knew it. Oh, these look pretty. Look, as it looks neon. Honestly, it look the camera picks it up pretty well. It looks exactly like that in real life. We're gonna get some mammy eye. Hang on, sorry. Oh, these look oh, so good. Oh, what have you gotten? These look so good. Are these the mames? Yeah. So they, they call them, they say it's silver cloud, but these are not silver cloud. These are actual mame. For sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, silver cloud is a mame hybrid anyway. Yeah, right? it so is a mame hybrid. It's much more silver and much more heart shaped. These are actually like really like, like original mame. These nice. don't look like a silver cloud, but. Either way, look how gorgeous that is. Yeah, this one's nice. This looks good. Like Dude. they're really happy. Mm. Like they're in good nick too. I'm surprised. Mm, look, oh, we've got so some far. Milanos. Yes. Do you have enough of those, those by now, AJ? No, no. I just want more. <laughs> no, I want more. <laughs> I want more. Yeah, they look nice. They look really good. They look really good as like a, in like as a full sea of Milanos with all the different colors, the dark, the like mango, goldish color. Good they look. The growth pattern looks more like a gigas almost. Yeah, stage. when they're smaller, when they're they've smaller, got a very huh? small. Um, the lobes are quite small. They don't. They don't heart yeah, shape out. Nice. Yeah. Oh God, it doesn't end. <laughs> no, there's more. <laughs> there's more. There's more. Oh, there's more here as well. Oh, I like those. Oh, nice. the Birkins look a little bit. Um, Rough. <laughs> Rough. Yeah, sometimes. That's okay. Yeah, enough, sometimes I mean. it happens. Yeah, you don't, plus you nobody would have bought a Birkin in two years, right? <laughs> They're so 2020. Birkins. So 2020. So 2020. What else do we have here? Oh, there's some nice. Here's some Hang nice on, I'm ones. Look at the red oh undertone my on God, this. Look at this. I know. We, we should Am I going to become obsessed with Calithias after should, this trip? We should move some. Oh, look at that what under. Have we got? It's just a philodendron, like a basic philodendron, but the undertone on that leaf, look at it. No, oh, it's beautiful, it's but gorgeous. it will fade. Oh no, it won't. Look at it. Oh, look. So pretty. Is that. Oh, not, not on all of them, though. No, it's like just a backwards the... variegation. Oh. Oof. I got Oof. a lovely bunch of coconut diddly See, if I, I had a garden, I, I would get this. all of these things. Oh my god, my animals would eat this in 10 seconds. There's just no way. Oh, and there's got a big inflorescent, big flower coming. Big juicy doodle. Wait, I'm going to get demonetized. <laughs> oh, here we go. We've got some imidrium. Medium. Yes. I already got some of those. So, home. and hang on, this is interesting as well. So, even though they're grown in perfect conditions and definitely can't complain about not enough light, they're sending they out runners okay. left, right, and center. Interesting right? fact: you can climb these up a grow vertical. Correct. You can do that. 
but these guys want to be creepers most of the time. So they send off runners so they can then root down and then start a whole other plant. Okay, so basically with these amedriums, them sending out runners is not necessarily a sign that they're not getting enough light. It's just their no, preferred that's just growth natural. pattern. Okay. That's just their growth. Mm. But these, I'm obsessed. These are dark lords. Now, as far as I understand, these are a tissue culture of Royal Queen. I believe. And they've just renamed it Dark Lord. <laughs> okay. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed with the dark leaves. They're gorgeous and they get big. I don't know. It's, I'm... I think if you grew I'm it nicely... I'm really indifferent about it. I don't I think, know. I like the green are, one better. Yeah. Well, they're not being mounted very nicely, so they're a little bit yeah. wonky. Like, for me to like a plant, it has a lot to do with growth pattern as well. Yeah. And, like, the way it's actually displayed. Totally. That's really important to me I as think, well. yeah, well, I mean, and also, like, how does it work in your home? You're, you know... Yeah, well, like, because I grow them for aesthetic reasons, I want them to be yeah, stable in pieces, well, right? That's so it. Aesthetics is important. I know a lot of people are like, yeah, but you know, you just gotta let plants grow wild and free. Well, you no, you don't. <laughs> you can have them all regimented. Well, you can. That could be your aesthetic, aesthetic well, that, preference. That, yes, that is. Yeah. But you also can manipulate them to grow in certain ways, whatever yeah. fits you. And, but you also want to be able to like grow them in a way that you can care for them as well. Yeah, so. I feel like when they grow too wild, then... It gets a bit out of control, you know. I just feel like there's so much left uh, lost potential. Like, even right now, I just feel like, oh my god, I want to give all of these moss poles so desperately. I know. Because I just feel like there's so much potential. They're so Growing wonky. them in these perfect conditions. But they come and they go. Yeah. Real quick. And of, course, of course, it makes no sense as a, a wholesaler to put moss poles on here. But I'm just so jealous of the space and the conditions that they've got. Look at that. Put that on a moss pole. Beautiful. 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 Uh, like this. The rattlesnake ones. Yeah. They're fuzzy as well. Are they the ones? No. Oh These no, ones but there's some hardy. that have the fuzziness at the back should as well. I get, right? Should I get two? This one is kind of really pretty, actually. Look at it through the so camera. Is, so is this one. Look at it through the camera. No, but like, look at that one too, that big leaf sticking out. Oh. They're all gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, you. In your greenhouse, you can make that work. I wouldn't get one for my home because I know they're no, just having I'm, such a hard time. They give you a bit of a hard time, yeah. yeah it's so impressive. Abu. Hello. <laughs> so what Picking are you doing? Boo. You're picking out more mummies. I'm mamas. picking out because they just look. I mean, look how good that looks. Yeah, they look cute. Oh, I love them. I love them so much. <laughs> You've got to be a crazy plant person to be into this kind of stuff, so I apologise if it's a bit daunting watching me, like, kiss plants and stuff. I feel like if you made it that far into the video and that far into my channel, you are also a crazy <gasps> plant person. Variegated? So, <laughs> Is it variegated? Oh my god, did somebody say variegated? No, 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 no. How many do I have on my trolley? Three? Um, guys, we have not made it really far so far. AJ is really stuck over there with the mammals. Do I have three on my trolley? You have... Three in your trolley. Okay, I just and need one. Six Milanos. I just need one more. Six is the magic number today. So you ended up getting five. Well, I'm <laughs> gonna get one more, but I can't see any from that side. So that one's a little double one. So we'll keep that one. One more. Should I get any of the caladiums? What? Okay, I'm not, I'm not qualified to drive this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, not, I'm giving up, guys. I swear I have a license. I just don't have practice. You're so funny. <laughs> I'm giving up. So they're supposed to be crawlers, right? But they're... Uh, so, interesting fact. They are seem climby-ish. Yeah, so interesting fact is that when they're juvenile, they can climb. Because when you think about it, if any... Oh, my God, I just something flicked in my mouth. Um, when you think about it, as a seedling... Um, they're not going to survive if they just crawl when they sprout. Yeah. They've got to kind of climb to where they're going to be able to grow, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Which one? This one? I think so. Okay. You said six only. I just like looking for the best ones, you know. It's <laughs> hard. Oh, she's hot in here. I'm getting sweaty. It is super hot. <laughs> Let's go! AJ, <laughs> don't let me hang in. That was good. Okay, AJ, where we... Uh, I'm not really good at this vlogging yet. Oh, duck. <laughs> where are we going next? So, we should have a quick... I think in here is like all of the Ooh. quite big stuff, which we... Oh, 
Look at that alocasia over there. Okay, let's ignore all the, we come back to the, the rubber trees. AJ is on a mission. Oh, <gasps> I love it. Ooh. Look at the size of it. Oh my God. <gasps> Isn't that beautiful? That is very nice. It's obviously not for sale because someone's hidden it all the way over here. Well, not hidden it because you can see it from a mile away, but <laughs> <Yeah. they've laughs> it's hard to hide that one. They've put, there's some special ones they put aside. So this one is the ficus section. Shiv yeah, ficus I actually like this one. What the heck? What is this? Do you so know what this is? So these are shivrana. Is? These are like actually quite, well, I think they're quite rare or expensive overseas. Like so cheap here. I like these ones. They I grow like, I'm, I've never been a big fan of ficus, to be honest, but if I had a big outdoor section I would oh, yeah. definitely love to get some ficus Imagine but some I would the grow them colors. more as a tree because well yeah. they are trees well they are trees yes. I wouldn't grow, I don't like the idea of them being house plants they need space it's like to the grow. same as with fiddle leaf fix like I just feel like it's a tree it shouldn't necessarily be Ooh. inside look at these horse heads I mean, what plants should all plants come from the outside pedatum mm. look at that horse head all righty what if a horse head philodendron and guys Obviously, if you grow in a super humid environment, these plants have no issue attaching yeah. to anything, right? Okay, like these attach really well, and I mean, that's all the support that they need, and it's definitely gonna signalize to the plant, hey, we're climbing, we're also, gonna the grow large leaves. But what are you gonna do when it reaches the top, no. right? Because you're gonna damage all of these roots trying to get it off that um, stake. So if you now want to continuously grow the top bit, so yeah, to continuously. Can You're going to have an issue. You don't have the propagation benefits that moss poles might have, for nope, example. No, you do not. That is the Which problem. is okay if you are not after that. But for me, indoors, my entire growth approach is kind of relying on the chop and extend method. So let's go, bitch. Let's go. I don't know if we're allowed to say on YouTube. Oh, let's go, witches. <laughs> you gotta say that either. Don't leave without me. <laughs> oh, let's go up there next. Ooh, we got some allocations oh, up here. Tiny so dancer, bro. Tiny dancer. What is this? Allocasia pink passion. I've yeah, never seen I've that seen before. I've seen this on one of my growers lists. It's quite unusual. It's like the porti eye, porti. Similar to porti eye, yeah. yeah okay. I don't know if I want to get that or not, though. And we, white print, like, remember Tiny white princess? Dancer. Like, um, what, two, three years ago, white princess were like everywhere, and then suddenly they, they disappeared, and now they're coming yeah, back. Yeah, they're making a comeback. Come back of the year. Some more of the what else do we have? Pink passion. <gasps> Look how variegated that is. Stop it. Ooh. Oh, you're coming home with me. How cool is that? Is it meant to be like Hang that? Hang on, is it? <gasps> Yellow tail. It's meant to be like that. Okay. Well, but this Wait. one is the only one that actually has the dark green bits. No, this is like all yellow and I'm super confused. Is this, an, this meant to be like this? I think it's supposed to be yellow and yours just has a bit of darkness. I Maybe can't... it's like opposite. Yeah, you might be right. These are kind of cool. Oh, there's another one. I just saw another one. Hold on, let me get it. Oh my god! Oh, this one is sexy. Okay, we need to get these two. Okay, let's get these two. They look two. cool. I think they're meant to just be all yellow, like what you yeah, said. I think that's and then some of them just come out with these chunks yeah. of green. I mean, it's, Which is, it makes sense it, given how much uh, that it's tissue cultured. Oh my god, this is so annoying. They're like, cups the water. Of, <laughs> they're like cups of water, they're holding them. And every time you go to check, they're like, ha ha, <laughs> they just dip it all over you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is cool how it's got these, like, oh my god, it's flipped it in my eyeball. <laughs> Yeah, I like this. I like this. Yeah. It, it it's like a philodendron Brazil alocasia version. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Mm, so these were alocasia yellow tail. Alocasia yellow tail. Okay. Interesting. Oh, right. more alocasia. A I lot think, of alocasia. I think these, these are. These seem a little sun stressed. Yeah, very sun But that's sun okay. I think that's just because they had a bit of oval. And these are like the platinum dragons. They had a bit of overflow by the looks of it. Okay. I think it's too much sun for them. Although alocasias are sun saluters. The jewel alocasia range, which are ones that are like more suited for like a rainforest style. Yeah, alocasia. these are the only ones I like to grow. I only like to grow well, the jewel Well, these are the ones, ones that grow best indoors because they don't need as much light as, yes. you know, your big green leaf alocasias that yes. are more for outdoor use. Greenhouse tour. Meow. Let's go. Fiddle leaves. And I think these are like the dwarf fiddle leaves. Again, I don't know. I just feel like. I'm not, I'm not a, 
Like I like trees, but I think I like trees outside, not inside. Like if it's a really big fiddly fig, that looks decent mm. um, in a home, right but I think they're also really tricky. I just never really gotten into them. I like me some aeroids instead. Oh my god, is it variegated? It's variegated. Oh my god, oh. is this like the shrinkle it's version? It's brown variegation. What cultivar is that? What's the name? This is called um, Pu Variegata. Ooh, is it really rare? So rare. So rare, oh my god, so take rare. my money. Just shut up and take my money. Thank you. <laughs> take everything, take everything I've got. <laughs> right, when you go to growers, I'm not doing that to diss the grower. I love this grower, it's one of my favorites. But shit happens, like plants yeah, die course. and sometimes like that, the only reason that looks like shit is because the top's obviously broken through transit, like it's snapped. So yeah, the but base of the plant is still growing, it's just the tip of it's just... Yeah, but we're dealing with nature, it's not, yeah, this is, AJ this is... definitely got the right footwear. <laughs> Me not so much. So but yeah, of course, we're dealing with nature, I mean, I get that all the time as well. People ask me if I kill plants, like left, right and centre, of course. Yeah. And sometimes you can do everything right and the plant is still kind of unhappy. We're dealing with nature. So these are the ones that everyone tries to grow indoors. They will not, nah, I tell you. this is impossible. But they if you will grow not them, I had grow them, indoors. So I used to have one of those. I tried to grow it indoors, impossible. I put it yeah. in my backyard. But in a, still in a pot, much better. Oh, when you're better. at the old house. When I then moved to my apartment, I gave it to my friend and he put it in his backyard. Oh, escalated. Yeah. Escalated like crazy. Huge, huge. Huge, yeah. right? So, so if, if you can you, put that in the ground. Yeah. It's almost the same too with Wentii. These look a bit rough, but Wentii, a lot of people try and grow that indoors and you'll, you, like, you'll struggle. Yeah. They really love being outdoors and in the garden. Yeah. Overall, the only other cages I like to grow indoors are the jewel ones that we spoke about earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Those. So... They're the only ones that work. Yes. Or like, at least they work the best. Alright. Um, We're going down there next. And that's okay. the last little stop, really. We're going down. We're going down. We can go this way. Imagine if I did my whole backyard like this. That oh. is nice. And that makes a huge difference as soon as you step under here. It's like... So a lot, of these, a lot of these shade cloths are specifically made for like shade houses like this. So even though they look really sheer, most of them have like um like reflective yes. fibers in them. So they reflect a lot of the heat and the UV. Yeah, look on camera, you can hardly yeah. even see it exists. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. That's why you see a lot of these shade houses in Queensland. You're like, how on earth does everything not cook? It's because there's specific shade cloths that are made for nice. reflecting the heat. So they're stuff. not the ones you buy at Bunnings? No, okay. no. <laughs> Look how good they look. And these the blue. Yeah, blue, blue star ferns. Blue star ferns. Yeah, Ooh, those look nice. Should I? What do you think about these indoors? Ah, uh, not bad. You've got to give them a lot of light. A lot of light, okay. As you can see, they're ferns and they're under a tiny shade cloth. And although, like I mentioned before, they reflect a lot of the UV and the heat. Ferns love light. I don't know why people lock them in bathrooms. I think it's this misconception that Huge uh, all the fern needs is like really high humidity. And the misconception that your bathroom is always humid. I mean, unless you're taking a shower 24 seven. There's a fan in your bathroom for a reason. It's because it sucks the humidity out. So it doesn't like create mold. So you can imagine what it does to your plants. Yes. So what have we got? So you wanted the white wizard, white not the wizard. white princess. Yeah, this is the one I want. Yeah, they look nicer. Look at that. But the stems mm. are a little bit different, but that's okay. Oh. I know, <laughs> you're like, no. They don't have much red in them, which is quite interesting. Like my ones at home have got a lot of red in them. Red? In oh the here, stem. this one, this, this, this tray. Look at this tray. This tray has much more red in the stem. Oh yeah, they do too. Well, why this one is. even has like some red uh, variegation on the underside. Look at that. Have a look at this one, like the red. Yeah, these are good. So what are these ones? White Knight. Oh, okay. Wizard and Knight. Oh. Interesting. So this one was, well, I'm confused. I didn't know there was, Look at that one. Oh, so That's this one, delish. hang on, there's White Knight, White Wizard, and, and White, white princess. princess. Do we know the difference? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, That's, let's solve this mystery. White. That's White Wizard. That's what, So this is White Princess. White Wizard. White Wizard. White Knight. White Knight. What the heck? I mean, they're all different, but look how cool. I mean, this is my favorite out of the two, I have to be honest. Or the three. The three, sorry. <laughs> I don't, yeah, this is also my favorite. Yeah, I think so the colors I think quite nicer. clearly this one has more brown in the stem. This yeah, one has a little brown. bit more pink in the stem and this and one has just white all. in the stem. Really interesting. But when they're juvenile, you can't, you can't see too much of no. a difference. Oh, I actually okay. like the, so the one with the brownish is the night, right? Yes, I like the night. kind of the original, the OG, 
You yeah, know. actually, the, I think the wizard has the nicest variegation, but that could just be random as well. Could just be the one that we chose. But yeah, guys, if you're after a knight, a wizard, or a princess, just get the <laughs> cheapest one. It really doesn't make all too much of a difference. <laughs> they all, uh, they I mean, all are impressive. I mean, so I say that, but then, you know, I get like a splendid and a Milano and a very costume and a majestic. Yeah, but that's because it grows good for you, though. Yeah, in your but situation. to some people, they all look the same as well. Anyway, so if these grow well for you, knock yourself out. Get them all. Go, girl. I'm just offering like no help. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> they look so pretty. They do look nice. Jeez, they're gorge. Gorgina. <laughs> yeah, I like this one actually. I like the brown bits. I don't well, know. They, I feel like they'll probably get much bigger. Yes. Um, yeah, I suppose we just comparing the juveniles once, so you never know. It's juvenile. They all look the same when they're juvenile. Well, get me. <laughs> okay, we're done. We're done. They're in closing it's the gate on us. So freaking hot. Behind you. You want me to just pass them to you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. They definitely need some water, these ones. <laughs> I love it. Because I'm not already hot enough, I need to do some stupid things. Definitely keen to blast the aircon. <laughs> oh my god, I know. <laughs> so AJ, where are we hot. going after this? Are we going to the magic place? After this? The magic place? The magic place, where all the magic happens. Well, my, my house. Oh, bunnies! bunnies. <laughs> yeah, we're going to stop in there. Do you want me to just park this there? Yep. Then we're done. <laughs> Guess we where we're going! That is so funny. Got bunnies! Yes! Oh, wait, that's fine. There's a shady spot right here. Okay. Okay, we just need to find a shady spot because... Oh, that one's better. Controversy. Because... Um, we have a lot of plants in yes, the car. Yes, just want to make sure everything stays... Cool. Yes. I'm trying to park yarn. What are you doing? Vlogging oh priorities. Oh my god, I can't even. You're holding in front of my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, stop. You're <laughs> killing me. Killing me. Killing me. <laughs> that can probably not hear us all with the aircon. It's probably like. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take this off. You can leave yours on. I'm going to take mine off in Bunnings. Why? Because look at it, it looks like an extra titty. It doesn't matter. So this is the first time we're ever vlogging and we're about to go in I'm public. I'm really scared! We're going I'm into really public, scared. no, we do it together, it's fine. No. Keep it on. We've got this. Together. Together we do it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay guys, this is Bunnings. So, it's just a normal <laughs> store. see, this is the thing, right? I understand that people from overseas want to see it, but they, people have got this too. Like, yeah, it's just like a garden center. I think, sure. to be honest, the main reason why people like Bunnings is because they sell the see-through pots, and everybody's jealous. Yeah, don't worry, pots. rest of the world. I'll ship them to you soon. Ooh, let's see what they've got. Ooh, Ooh this is the good section. Ooh, and I another love, one of these trolleys. I love the aquatic. Are these gorgeous? I like these ones. I need to make a look. I need to make oh, a little. What is this? Look at this little variegation. Yeah, I know. It's beautiful, isn't it? What is that? I don't know. It's quite cute. Some a type Louisiana of water plant. Iris, apparently. Or is that the wrong? Could be the wrong label. Wrong label. Sorry, I have no idea. Look how beautiful these are. But they always look beaten oh, up. Look at the high low. Should I get this? Yes, that's it. You could put that totally in your garden. Or do you want to sell it or for yourself? For myself. Yeah, I think for yourself. And look at the size of the variegated, but um, they're huge. They're a bit scrappy. But they're huge. Alrighty, let's have a look inside, huh? Jade plants. This is where all the good always, plants are. There's always some so beauties nice. in there. Melos. Oh, look, they've got the silver. The high silver watermelon peperomia. Oh, yeah. So it's like... Yeah, it's just way more silver than the original. I actually like the green one better. Yeah, I like the green too. 
Green's my favourite. So, this is where I get all my pots from. You get all your pots from here. I got most of my pots from Bunnings. Yeah. They're really decent size and they're very cost effective. Billies, billies. Oh. I love a yeah, billy. This is the same Adam Sonia that I have. They're just letting it grow wild. So if you'd give that a moss pole, it could easily grow really nice and large. Some decent billies. Some nicely variegated Stendolianas. Small pots. Yeah, I like these pots down here. These are perfect for 25 centimeter pots and these are perfect for 20 centimeter pots. And really good prices, at least for Australia. Look how overgrown this little terrarium is. Did you find something you can rescue? Look how overgrown it is. That's so cute. I'm, I'm thirsty. <laughs> Yeah, we've got so many other pots, so over there that section was just a decorative pots. Here we've got like the actual nursery pots. There you go, clear pots in three different sizes. And they have little saucers of them as well, but I don't need them, I just put them in decorative planters. And then we've got a few more planters here. All right, we didn't find anything in Bunnings, so we're leaving. <laughs> we made Hello. it. We are back. It's looking so good, AJ. Finished. That's it. We're done. Alrighty, so we finished unpacking. We just... I mean, not that you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> because there's so many freaking plants in here. Yes, but... Yeah, the van is empty. Yeah. I had a good day. Thanks yeah. for taking me to the growers. We've I mean, won that is just like a small portion of my day. There's yes. still a lot more to happen, but one, one day I'll rope him into the whole lot. Yeah, and next time you go to a different grower, I would love to join again. It was fun. It was nice. Oh, there's one grower. There's that one you grower want to take you've got to gotta see. Right. It wasn't open today, unfortunately, but next time we'll go earlier in the week and you'll get to see it. It's and nice. I'll definitely take you along. Anyway, thanks Yay. for having us. Make sure to... Follow AJ, I'll link all of her socials in the description below and thanks for watching, <laughs> see you, Goodbye. bye!